you and John Snoddy, he's a member of the South Asian Youth Forum. What is the South Asian Youth Forum is the platform for young people aged 14 to 25 in South Asia. So we get representatives from each area of South Asia, um, all the way from our region, and they'll meet monthly and discuss issues that will affect young people in South Asia. Uh, yeah, we do a lot of school work, we work in the colleges, we do a lot of street work as well, uh, a lot of charity countries and things like that, so it's, it's, it's very well known. Can people locally come in for Yeah, all you need to do is just pop up to your local library, all the details are there, speak to your local youth centre, speak to your local youth worker, um, young school worker, things like that, and if nobody's, it's not a problem to get to inform as long as you're between 14 and 25, you're fine. That's right, yeah. Absolutely amazing. The time is at MSYP, it's probably what I'd say one of the best year and a half of my life um, that I was in it. The issues that, that were discussed, the debates that he's had, the amount of campaign and things that he's did, it was, was that really good. Really good. Um, I started um, doing, a, doing a long story the short story. Right. Short story is, I, I started going along to South Ayrshire Youth Forum when I was 14 and I heard that there was elections coming up for the Scottish Youth Parliament. Because it, I thought it was, it was something that I thought I could do, I stood for election. Um, elections went ahead, people voted, so I got elected. I wouldn't say, in the, in the short time that I was there, I wouldn't say I wanted to be a board member. Um, basically just because of the fact I'd rather have a say in things and I know members of the board have a limited amount of what they can say. Um, I'm just supposed to be impartial things like that where I'd say I'm very opinionated and if I didn't like something I'd, I'd, I'd say I didn't like it. What sort of debates did you do in your time? It was debates, like things like that, that you're seeing in the news now, like loving quality, love equality, um, equal rights for gay marriages, things like that, votes at 16, all these things were getting discussed at the Scottish Youth Parliament about, about three, four years ago. And it takes that amount of time to actually build up a profile and want to make the news, and obviously that's the Westminster of the Scottish Government looking at them now as well. They're, they've not become law, but they have. Um, well, part of the, the youth forum with a petition to the Scottish Government, and that was so that local government, like councils, um, should consult young people on decisions that would affect young people. So, say for example, the council were going to take away a, a park or something like that, but they never consulted young people about it. Obviously, we felt that wasn't really fair in the young people, they should get their own opinions for it. Um, so, we petitioned the Parliament, and as far as I'm aware, that's going through the regulations to get put through as an act now. So. Do you get any say in the debate today? I can raise an opinion, I just don't have any voting rights because now I'm not a member of the Youth Parliament. Um, but I can, I can certainly put my hand up and, and say something, yeah. Do you want to become a member of the Youth Parliament again? Definitely. The only reason I left the department before was because I was focusing on my schoolwork. Um, Fourth year exams and things like that were coming up, that was the only reason I left. So the election's coming up next year. Definitely, I think most likely I will stand again. No problem, thank you.